Hey guys, happy Gina Graham here. Welcome to my home. We are all safe at home right now. And I bet you have spent a lot of time in your home in the last couple weeks. I have. So I thought about other artists who have spent time at home and who have drawn and painted their homes. So I wanna show you some famous artists and some paintings that they've done of buildings and homes. And then we're gonna draw a home today. So kind of come down. This is Monet, remember him? We studied about him a lot. He did those beautiful ponds and gardens. This is his home in France. And this is a painting he did of his home right here. You can barely see tucked in the back there the pink of his house and the gardens have kind of taken over. I think this is a home of his as well. And notice all the gardens that he focuses on in his work. So that is one way to paint a home. This is a home painted by James Wyeth. He is a, one of my favorite illustrators. This home is so unfocused and bright white, you can barely tell that it is a building until you really stare at the window spots. And I love the flag and the banner, the bunting that's there. This one is a little different. You can focus in a little more and you can see many more details. Same artist did both of those. Now, Van Gogh, we all know him. This is the yellow house that he lived in and he painted it. This is his room that he painted. It's a very famous painting. I know you've seen that before. Excuse my voice, my allergies have kicked in. Everything in Tennessee is blooming right now. Now this is Edward Hopper. This is just a building that he saw beside some railroad tracks. I don't think it was his personal home, but I thought that was kind of neat. It would be neat to write a story about that house. It looks like it's had lots of interesting things happen there. Okay, look at this home. This is done by Rembrandt. So I think that is very cool. It almost looks like a coloring book page, doesn't it? All right, here's our last home. This is done by Grandma Moses. She was somebody who painted later in life, and she remembered all the different fun things that happened to her in her childhood, and she painted from memory. This one is called Wash Day. Do you see all the laundry out on the line and the people? This is a very simple, basic painting. So all sorts of different styles of homes there. Come over to my drawing table. I thought we could draw a little illustration of a home. These are cute, these are little boxes shaped like a home. So on ginagram.com, I've got this printable. It says, home sweet home. And I'd like you to draw in this. Now you can draw your own home in there, or we can do this home here. Let's, let's just draw together today. I'm gonna take my marker. All right, what I want you to do is look at the shapes in the structure of a home. This is kind of a triangle shape. So let's start with that. It's kind of a wide triangle, isn't it? Now the roof, I like to do a little curly cue sometimes. So I've come down and go like that and like that. Isn't that fun? And then I'm going to come up and down like that. Now I've got a little chimney going on, so I'm gonna make that shape. And on the top of the chimney, it's a little wider, so I'm gonna go like that. Do you see the little smoke curls coming out? We could do that too. All right, there's the top of my house. All right, so I'm gonna do this line and this line next. Down and down. Now the house goes all the way down to the ground, but I like these bushes right here. So let's go down kind of in this area 
and start your bushes up through like that. There you go. Now I could draw my line all the way down through, but the bushes are in the front. If you were to walk into my picture, you would walk into the bushes first and into the house second. So I want the house to look like it's tucked in back of those bushes. All right, let's put a door right here. Now I like these little flowers. You can just make little circles. It's so simple. My marker's a little thick. It might be better to have a thinner one. I'll put some flowers there. I'm gonna put some grass. Looking good. What are we missing? How about some windows? All right, so I'm gonna put a little square, little square, like that. I like these little shutters. It makes it have some fun detail. So let's put some shutters down. Like that. Window panes. It's fun to add little details. It makes things look more interesting. Uh, I like a little heart on the door. I like to tuck a heart into my work. Put a little doorknob. Now my house has brick. Oh look, there's a little welcome mat. You can do a line there and a line there. And go like that. So let's see, what can we put in the sky? Let's do some clouds in the sky. That cloud looks funny, but that's okay. Um, what else could we put in the sky? Or we could put a tree back there. You could put a sun in the sky if you wanted. Um, we could put some birds flying in the sky. So that's a fun way to draw a simple house. Now, what I did was I went outside and took a picture of my house. And I really stared at it. I don't look at the outside of my house very much. And I didn't even really remember what color my shutters were. So I took this and then I took it over to my window and I traced, I looked through, put it on my window and the light from the window pokes through so you can see your drawing. So then I kind of traced it so that it's more simple. Now, I'm gonna draw this for you in case you wanna draw your own house. And let's see how this comes out. I haven't practiced this. So we'll see. Now the ground is kind of bowed and I'm gonna do that too. I'm trying to decide if I wanna do that first though. Kind of a bowed ground. Now, if I were to fold this into half, that's how I know where the center of my house is. So I'm gonna say the center of my illustration is here. So I know that I'm gonna start a window up and over just slightly from center. So here's my window. And I might not be perfect at this, this is okay. I'm just really observing my personal house and trying to map it out the best I can. All right, so it has these little shutters. Draw those in. Now, I'm gonna take my finger from the tip of my shutter to the other shutter. There, I'm gonna block it off with my finger. It's that big from there to there. So I can tell that between those two windows, I can almost put another window. Do you see that? I can almost tuck this whole shape into there. So I know how far down my window goes. All right, so here's mine. I know that my shutter starts there. My window kind of starts there. And I can map that in. Is it perfect? No. Is that okay? Yes. All right, so now I'm gonna come out just a little further and there's the side of my house. All right, now how far over do, is my door? So I can go back to my window from the tip of the marker to where my thumb is clipping that outside edge is that far. So I'm gonna come over here. So one window length kind of hits the edge of my door, doesn't it? 
So now I can come over here, grab that same measurement from the tip of my marker to here is about that far. So, whoops, I'll try it one more time. It's about right there. So I know my door is right around that area. Now, how wide is my door? Let's see, from there to there, it's the inside part of the window. So I'm gonna map that in real fast. And that up that door, let's make an imaginary line. It's a little bit less than my the length of my window. All right, so now I can do that little rectangle shape there. Um, now I have three windows on this side. So from there to there is about that big. It's a little less than my window. So I'm gonna come over here, a little less than my window. So now I know it's like right about there. A little less than my window, yeah. Um, so I've got a line coming this way. So I'm just gonna map it out. There's my line. Start of my windows right there. There's one, two, three of them. Let's see, my window's about that big, a little less than that one. One, two, three. So now I know that the bigger windows in my house are like that. So one, two, three. Is that fun? All right, so there's the side of my house right there. I'm just gonna guess that it's about that long. Now the door, let's see how long down that door is. It's from there to there. It's about the size of the window plus the shutters. Window plus shutters, go like that. So I know my door is right there. Okay, my step comes out like that. I can put, somehow the roof kind of goes up like that on my house. And then this big long line is up about there. comes out a little. Now the, the angle of my roof, if I did an imaginary line down through, it hits about the center of that window. So I can hit about the center of that window, come up a little bit, and I know my angle's about like that. All right, so here I'm coming off the edge, and um, the top of that angle hits about right there. So I'm gonna go up to about there and there's my angle. And there's my roof. And I have a sunflower out here that's made out of metal. I've got lots of little bushes and stuff. You can see that this arch is a little less than what I did, so that's okay too. Um, right here is a little pipe thing on my house. Lots more bushes. I've got a big tree out in the back. I'm going to just sketch all those out. So there's my house. Now I could put some brick kind of texture in. I could take a colored pencil and color things in a little bit. But that's just a, a simple, easy way to get your house laid out exactly how it is. All right, I hope that helps. Enjoy your home, sweet home. And maybe think of some special ways you can make home even sweeter for your family. Now that you're home a little more, a good attitude makes home sweeter, doesn't it? Thank you for watching. I hope you draw your home and I can't wait to see you again. Bye.